Okay, here we have the Chickering 135, and this will be the last video for this piano. It is completely finished. Uh, I've actually show you I've pulled the tape off of it. It's done. As far as the work that I did on this piano, it was a uh, refinish. Uh, this piano, I think I mentioned in one of the earlier videos, this piano was uh, original. Well, after uh, getting into it a little bit, I found out that it's not. It has been restrung. Um, it's an older restringing, and at that same time, it was actually refinished. Um, but uh, it it looks like it hasn't been used much since uh, it was refinished. Um, if you look here, uh, there hadn't been a lot of tuning. If you look at the the distance between the bottom of the coil or the string on the tuning pin and the plate, uh, there's a lot of space there. They're up real high, so uh, it really hasn't been used much since it's been restrung. The felt looks um, after I put some high pressure air on it. it cleaned up a good bit so um and the dampers damper felt look uh look in pretty good shape um but uh really what i wanted to show you was the finish on this piano it is a closed port finish and uh you can see here um take a look at one of those earlier videos of this piano you can see a big difference between the, the start and finish of this piano uh, it has some pretty victorian style legs uh, I think I mentioned that this piano was made in, I believe, 1932. Um, but I'm walk around the cabinet here and let you take a look. Uh, really came out nice and slick. Uh, this is the area back here where um, we had some loose veneer. I uh, re-veneered that area and uh, really came out nice. Um, the uh, piano has some real nice Victorian touches, not overly done. Um, and I imagine it's a real good sound the piano. Chickering made real good instruments and uh, they had quite a following of uh, some reputable uh, pianists in the uh, 1920s and 30s. So, um, and this piano was made in that time period. So. Um, those guys put their name on these pianos. They they trusted them to be good instruments. Uh, here's the bench and the pedal liar. It's all taken apart. Uh, got the key slip here. And the log for the lid is lid brace. The cheek blocks, bench top, and it's the prop stick. Bottom of the pedal liar. Pedal liar guides for the rods. See the three holes there. Small prop stick and the uh, one piece of the music rack. Real neat looking piece. Um, like I said, not overly done, but it does have a little bit of a Victorian accent, you know, with the curved lines there. Um, like I said, not overly done. Real pretty, pretty and not overstated. And uh, this is the um, fall board with the New chickering decal uh, just put on, and um, the small lid here, and uh, and the big lid. And I did want to show you if I can do so here, and I'm going to do a video at a later time with a little bit more detail on this, getting a little bit more detail with natural and black finishes but we do uh, when we get folks that want to save a little bit of money on a finish they ask for us to do what's called an open pour finish and you can see the back of this music rack here let me flip around I'll show you the front this is the front piece of that music rack you know it folds the other piece I showed you actually folds it fits in these holes and folds back and your music sits along here um, that's the front side, it's closed pour. Back side is open pour. And um, you can see there, as the light hits, you can see the actual pores of the grain are open. I'm going to hold that at a good angle. See that there? And you flip it over, solid piece of wood. You flip it over and you can tell it's uh, closed. 
you still see the grain you see the character of the wood but uh, the finish is actually slick to the touch so it will be like filling a piece of glass as far as the the slickness but it's still because it's a clear coat over the uh, natural wood veneer or in this case uh, I'm pretty sure it's a solid piece of wood you have the uh, you can see the exposed wood and um, I'll detail that a little bit more in a, another video but uh, basically I want to get a shot of this piano for you it's all done uh, it took me about if I count the dry time I allowed it took me about eight days to do it um, actual working time was uh, about five days so um, if you have any questions uh, just go to pianos.proboards.com and uh, you can post a question there as a forum um, or you can go to Twitter at Beavers Piano and uh, you can uh, give me a tweet I'll be glad to answer any questions you got thanks